Hi, I am once again Rebecca Brightly and this week's Lindy Hop step is called the Boogie Drop. It looks easy and that's good because that means you can fake it really easy. But it's also good for another reason, it means you can spend more time on it. Uh, so this week's video is on the Boogie Drop and let me show you what it looks like. Boogie drops, there are two basic things you need to know how to do, and the first one is bouncing your leg off the ground. Uh, take your leg, touch it to the ground, lift it up, touch it down, lift it up, touch it down, lift it up, touch it down. Now notice that this is a very isolated movement. If you solidified everything here and just lifted at the leg, it would be very isolated. In Lindy Hop, we don't really want to isolate all of our movements. We want to integrate the movement in with the rest of what our body is doing. So see how my whole body is kind of lifting my leg and letting it bounce off the floor? What I'm not doing is this. I'm not doing this. I'm lifting the knee up and then letting it bounce off the floor. Try that with both legs. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, uh, uh, uh. The second thing you need to know how to do is a fabulous looking lunge. Essentially, here's the position you want to be able to drop down into very quickly. This is a pretty low lunge position. The lower you can get, the better. Notice that in my leg that I was just bouncing off the ground, there's a right angle here. And there's an approximate right, <coughs> excuse me, right angle here. Now you want to try that on both sides. Yep, two right angles. So if you can drop down low into that and then push back up, you're going to be doing this move really well. A sort of way to uh, half-ass this move is to keep the back leg straight. I don't like how this looks. I think it looks pretty lame. Because then you end up doing something like boogie boogie drop. Which to me doesn't give me the feeling of drop. It gives me the feeling of uh, like yoga, you know? So I want the feeling of I almost hit the floor when I dropped. Like this is like almost smashed them into the floor. Once you can get the, the bouncy, bouncy, bouncy and the drop, on both sides, we're going to put it together. Counts for this, hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here it is again, hold one, two, three, five, six, seven. When doing your boogie drops, remember to move a little bit back and forth. You're not bouncing in place and then dropping, bouncing in place and then dropping. You're actually taking this leg, bouncy, bouncy, drop. It moves a little bit with every time you touch it down. Bouncy, a bouncy, a drop. A bouncy, bouncy, drop. A bouncy, bouncy, drop. Okay, so let's talk about upper body. One idea is simply to, when you go into the lunge position, take your arms up, look forward, arch your back a little bit, and get a nice line with the elbows. Boogie, boogie, drop. A boogie boogie drop. Another idea, I like this one, is to throw your arms up like, oh my god, I almost fell on the ice. Oh, okay, I saved myself. So that would look like a boogie boogie. Ah, oh, I almost fell. Boogie boogie, oh, I almost fell. So if you've been following along with my dance videos for the past six weeks, you've probably been wondering, why am I learning all of these jazz moves? What are we doing with all these jazz moves? Uh, I have a surprise for you. Next week, I'm going to show you the Wiggles routine. It's a routine I made up. It's very easy and it's slow, which means you'll have lots of time to think, lots of time to put all the moves together. Uh, so we're going to focus not on the moves themselves, but on the transitions and learning how to remember the movements that come next, which is really the problem when you're learning a choreographed routine. As always, if you liked my video, press like because that tells me that you liked it. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions and especially vis visit my dance blog, Rebe 
RebeccaBrightly.com. <laughs> RebeccaBrightly.com. All right, see you next week.